we're gonna review the iPhone 12 Pro and sort of compare it to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which was the biggest phone of last year's release. So one of the things that Apple is always improving and always announcing as one of their big improvements is the camera. And that certainly got an improvement this year. Um, so it didn't add a lens. Uh, you know, you see all the funny memes where the whole back of the iPhone is just covered in lenses. Um, who knows, maybe someday that'll happen. Uh, but this year they stuck with the three camera, but improved them. Uh, and then again, like I said, they added the LiDAR sensor here, which will improve autofocus and improve the overall camera in low light capabilities, quicker autofocusing video, things like that. They're also adding a, uh, they're making a software update in the next couple months that will uh, introduce a thing called Apple Pro Raw, uh, which is, if you think about when you take a raw photo, if you're a photographer, you take a raw photo versus a JPEG, a lot more data in the raw photo. You can really adjust your highlights, shadows, your saturation, blacks, whites, highlights, all that. Um, so it's gonna give you a little bit more data, more, more flexibility with the photos. So that'll be really cool. I'm really excited for that. One of the biggest reasons I upgraded was the size. So um, as you probably know, every year they usually introduce two different sizes for the, for the main phones. They'll have the regular and they'll have the max or the plus. 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, iPhone XS, XS Max, you get the point. Um, so this year they did do that. They actually increased the sizes of both the regular and the bigger phone as well. So I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max here, which is a 6.5 inch display. The new iPhone 12 Pro is actually a 6.1 up from the 5.8 inch. Uh, and the new iPhone 12 Pro Max will be actually bigger and will be 6.7 as opposed to 6.5. I actually have a funny alternation where over the past four years, every year I've actually alternated and got a small phone, big phone, small phone, big phone, going back to the smaller phone this year. Really like how this fits in the hand. Um, I do have big hands, but the 11 Pro Max just felt really big for me. So uh, I'm excited for the little, little smaller size. Feels a little better in the hand with the flat edges to me. Um, the fingerprints all over the stainless steel around here might bug me, but what are you gonna do? So after the camera, obviously the processing, the chip is something that Apple always improves. So uh, this year in the iPhone 12 Pro, they have the A14 chip as opposed to the A13 chip in last year's iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. Obviously the design, like we talked about a little, you can kind of see here in the last few years, the iPhones have had rounded edges where, like I said, they went back to sort of the iPhone 4, original iPhone SE uh, with the flat edges here. I personally am a big fan of that. Some people uh, don't like it. Um, you know, everybody's gonna be different, but like I said, I really like how it feels in the hand, a little bit better of a grip with no case. I personally like to go no case very often. And so sometimes the rounded edges, it feels a little slippery, uh, moves around my hand a little too much. Um, whereas with the flat edges, this feels really secure. I feel like I'm not gonna drop it as much. Going next to the uh, IP rating. Last year's iPhone 11 Pro Max uh, was rated to withstand up to three or four meters for up to 30 seconds. This year they made the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max can withstand up to six meters. Uh, so if you wanna dunk your phone in water even deeper, go for it. Um, I've personally never had a problem. I've spilled little amounts of coffee, water uh, on these. Never had any issues. I've never dunked it in water. I've sort of always wanted to try it, but um, not something I think I'll be doing. But if that's what you want to do, give it a shot. So let's go to battery life next. Personally, I'm coming from the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is the bigger phone and usually has a bigger battery. And I am going to the iPhone 12 Pro, which is the smaller of the two phones. Um, so I'm actually looking into it. Um, I'm actually losing a bit of a bit of battery life. I believe the 11 Pro Max uh, can, you know, the battery life says video playback up to 20 hours, whereas the 12 Pro will do video playback up to 18 hours. So I am going from the bigger phone to a smaller phone. So it does make sense that the battery would be a little bit smaller. 5G. That is the huge announcement this year. Uh, all the new iPhones. Uh, all the new iPhone 12s, I'm sorry, got 5G capability. Verizon came on stage at the, at the event. So 5G is the new big thing. And as you'll see on the side here, you have your lock button that is in the normal spot. 
A little bit below that is the, actually the 5G antenna. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of articles about, out there about the 5G. Um, one big thing is it is gonna drain your battery faster. Um, it's not available everywhere yet, so if you don't have it, don't worry. It might just not be available in your area. It also depends on your carrier, so whether you have Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, that's gonna vary whether you have it or not. And then it's also not gonna be active all the time. Um, so from what I've been reading, it's gonna turn on automatically when it detects that it needs it. So if you're in a super high traffic area, like in New York City, tons of people around and your speeds are pretty low, the 5G will probably kick in and get you those faster speeds. But it's not gonna be something that's on all the time. So one thing with increasing the size of the 12 Pro, uh, last year's 11 Pro was 5.8 inches, and the iPhone 11 was 6.1. Now the 12 Pro is 6.1, and the regular iPhone 12 is also 6.1 with the same design, same shape, um, different cameras, but the design and the shape is the same, so your phone cases are actually gonna fit both phones. So whether you get a 12 or a 12 Pro, you can actually buy phone cases that fit either, and they'll fit exactly the same. The phones are dimensionally identical. So let's talk a little bit about the box really quick. Um, so that's one of the big talks this year. Less stuff included with the phone, smaller boxes. Apple claims it's so their carbon footprint is less. They're more environmentally friendly, um, which is probably true. I mean, this is a really thin box compared to last year's. It was almost, probably almost double the size. But obviously, typically included is the phone, the charging cable, the charging brick, all the paperwork with the stickers, and wired earbuds. So this year, they took out the wired earbuds, and they took out the charging block. So the phone box is a lot slimmer. You see here, all they have is the charging cable, the paperwork, and that's it. Very small box, very minimal. Some people that might be, uh, you know, like I said, a big inconvenience because if you didn't get last year's phones, now you're either gonna charge using your standard USB-A, uh, which would still work with your USB to Lightning, or you have to go out and buy a charging block. However, Apple did reduce the price of the charging block from I believe it used to be $29, now it's $19 for the charging block. And I believe the wired earbuds used to be $29, now they're $19. Uh, so they reduced the price on those because they're not including them in the box. So the next thing is storage. The iPhone 11 Pro, Pro Max, those started at 64 gigabytes, whereas the iPhone 12 Pro is actually starting at 128 gigabytes. So the 12 Pro you can get 128, 256, or 512. And they did keep the price points the same. So the 12 Pro starts at 999, the 12 Pro Max starts at 1099, which is the same as the 11 Pro and Pro Max. The 11 Pro was 999 and the Pro Max was 1099. So you're getting a little bit extra storage, which for a lot of people is a huge issue. You know those constant reminders you get there, storage getting full, storage getting full, empty some documents. Uh, so you'll get a little bit bump in storage for the same price. So if you are gonna upgrade, that's one thing you can look forward to. So that's gonna do it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really excited to try out the new 12 Pro, test out the camera, that Apple Pro Raw is gonna be really cool. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment below if you have a question, let us know what you thought. This is Mike Nealon from Focus Forward, adios.